Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, uh, another video in our series uh, dealing with the SPSS statistics, okay, is going to concentrate on uh, how to create a set of dummy variables. Okay? This is actually an important concept, especially when uh, with respect to certain types of analysis that you want to perform within SPSS, primarily in relation to regression as an example. Okay? So if you want to perform a regression analysis, uh, the regression model has a number of, I suppose, well, it has many, I suppose, it has eight sort of preconditions associated with it. Uh, and one of the main preconditions is, uh, I suppose, in relation to the characteristics associated with our independent variables uh, and also our dependent variables that we're using in the model. Uh, and I suppose uh, probably a really important characteristic is that all of our independent variables, okay, depending on how many you have in the particular model, but all independent variables that are going into a regression model, uh, they need to be either quantitative, in other words, they need to be measured on, on, on an interval or ratio scale of measurement. Within SPSS, they're defined as scale variables, okay? They need to be scale variables, or they need to be dichotomous, okay? And that's really important. So it's it's not just the case that when we're doing a regression analysis that we can actually throw any variable into the regression model uh, as independent variables. There is certain characteristics that we need to need to meet. And in one of my later videos, uh, what I'm going to be doing is a multiple regression analysis uh, where we're going to try to predict a person's intention to leave their organization. Uh, regressing this particular variable uh, on the likes of jobs satisfaction okay so job satisfaction we feel as a predictor of whether someone's someone is going to leave or going to stay within an organization that's one of our independent variables another independent variable I'd like to take into consideration when I'm building my regression model is 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 the gender of the respondent okay? uh, and another independent variable is maybe the age of the respondent as well so building the regression model uh, with respect to the independent variables, in this case, job satisfaction is me measured on a, it is a scale variable. Okay, it is measured. Okay, uh, job satisfaction is here. We've got defined to be a scale variable. Okay? Gender is a dichotomous variable. There's only two levels of measurement associated with gender. You're either female or male. Okay? So that actually meets the the criteria as well. It's a dichotomous variable. But unfortunately, age. In this case, in this, for this example, age has three categories of measurement associated, or three levels of measurement. Zero indicating that the participant was under 30 years of age, one indicating that they were between 30 and 50 years, and two indicating that they were 50 plus years of age. So if I want to use age as an independent variable in any future regression model that I build, it's important that age is represented as a dichotomous variable, or a set of dichotomous variables. And this is where dummy variables come into play. So, uh, I have a little PowerPoint slide here that I just want to have a look at really quickly, okay? So let me just maybe open this up. I'll go to full screen on this here, yeah? So that's a little bit a little bit larger, okay? So let's consider the age variable that I have currently, okay? So the current ordinal variable for age, maybe I'll just say that for age, yeah, okay? It has three levels of measurement, uh, zero indicating under 30 years, one indicating between 30 and 50 years, and two indicating 50 plus years, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a set of dummy variables for that. I'm going to create a set of dichotomous variables, okay? Uh, now, the rule of thumb is this, is that depending on how many levels of measurement you have associated with your variable that you want to create dummy variables for, okay, the number of dummy variables that will adequately capture all of the characteristics or all of the possible levels of measurement is one minus the number of levels that you originally had. So in this case, there's three levels of measurement associated with the age variable. So three minus one gives us two. So actually, two dummy variables will capture these three pieces of information. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's think about it. Uh, so the first dummy variable that I'm going to set up uh, is, is going to be called, that the, it's going to be, let's, let's call it age under 30 years. Okay? And each participant is going to be, I suppose, given a score of either 0 or 1. 0 meaning they're not under 30 years, 1 meaning they're under 30 years. So actually this variable sort of captures, captures it breaks this particular three levels into two separate, I suppose, mutually exclusive sets. One will be your under 30 years, and zero will be your not under 30 years. In other words, zero will capture the levels one and levels two. Okay? So if I'm one on this variable, it means I'm under 30 years. If I'm zero, it means I'm not, which means I could be between 30 and 50 years. Okay? Uh, or uh, I could be 50 plus years. And the second dummy variable I'm going to create is, I'm going to call it age between 30 and 50. 
Okay, you'll be one if you are between 30 and 50, and you'll be zero if you're not between 30 and 50. And once again, these two levels split the three levels into two mutually exclusive sets. Okay? But let's just keep in mind now, I've created two dummy variables. One is called your under 30 years, and the other is called your between 30 and 50 years. What about the other category, the 50 plus years? Well, let's think about it. If I'm zero on the first dummy variable, okay, well then that means I'm not under 30 years. If I'm zero on the second variable, it means I'm not between 30 and 50 years. So the only other alternative is, if I'm zero on dummy variable one and also dummy variable two, the only other alternative is that I must be 50 plus years. Okay? So that's sort of the rationale behind the creation of dummy variables. So let me go back into SPSS. Okay? Let's go back into SPSS and let's create these two dummy variables. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, uh, just click on SPSS here, okay? uh, I'm going to go to transform uh, and I'm going to choose recode into different variables. Okay? So I'm going to say recode into different variables. Uh, and I'm going to take the age variable and that's the variable I'd like to recode. And I want to recode it into a new variable, so I'm going to give the new variable a name and I'm call, going to call this uh, 